<clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's B. Rich with Grandpa's Magic. So, as you can see, we got the box, Dominaria. We've got the buy box promo, which, on second thoughts, I don't know why I wanted this, because it's garbage. I mean, it's good. It's okay at best. But for the most part, it's like, come on. It's okay. It's pretty. I can dig it. And now I've got an exclusive card, you know, that a whole lot of other people have. <laughs> so, uh, we are going to open this bad boy um, and see what we pull. So my pre-release, I didn't do too well. Uh, the best thing that I pulled was a Mox uh, Amber, which I no longer have. I I know that it's a it's a good card. It's a chase card. People are gonna want to use it, and I tried to use it in limited. You know, and there's a lot of legendary stuffs. So, you know, so it's like it's just it wound up is in for in the 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 limited play that uh, that is pre-release. It didn't get any work in. I think I used it literally twice the whole time I had it. And I had it out almost every game. I just never really used it. Because I had plenty of other mana and whatnot. But uh, I, I wound up trading it away almost immediately. Uh, for the two Planeswalker decks and some other goodies. Uh, so, I, I think I did good. I did good. Nice uh, Wizards of the Coast wrapper. That way we know it's real and not fake. Ooh, look at that prettiness. Look at it. Just look. That is amazing. Beautiful stuff. Boom. There we go. How's that? So I have debated them with myself as to whether not to open all these at once, or should I, you know, do a little bit at a time and give you guys several videos uh, over the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, so I I went to uh, uh, that one other social media uh, face of books and. Uh, I can talk to a few, uh, a few of the people. Uh, you're watching this video. You're probably one of those people. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, that I, I just, I wanted to know what would be better. You know, one video, multiple videos. Uh, the consensus is just one large video. I'm like, okay, I can do that. Uh, it's not like any big deal. So we're just gonna get right down into it. So, I've got a syncopate, fire elemental. Well, let's let's uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll try to go over some of the cards, but it's like uh, we got Talarian Scholar, and we got Dub, uh, Crozen Druid. I figure if you guys really are interested in what all these cards are doing. Drudge Sentinel. Uh, you guys probably look them up or pause the video. Uh, Vicious Offering. A short Sword. Pegasus Courser. The Eldest Reborn. Four and a Black Saga. I don't know about this one. I didn't play with it in pre-release, but I played with uh, the Mending of Dominaria, and that is a very strong card. Very strong. It put in a lot of work, and I liked it. This one, each opponent sacrifices a creature planeswalker. 
for chapter one. Chapter two is each opponent discards a card, and then chapter three is put target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Not too shabby at all. Not bad. Uh, a Thalid Soothsayer. A fungus. There are a lot of fungi in this set. Nah, I'm not mad about it either because I think fungi needed a lot of good support like it's uh, was given. So we've got Mishra's Self Replicator for the rare. And we've got Eliz the Cinderwind. One a red and a blue. 2-2. Two, two. Human Wizard. Flying Haste. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, wizards you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. And then on to the next. So we got uh, Fire Elemental and Dub, Talarian Scholar, Divest, uh, Grow from the Ashes, which isn't too bad. You get two and a green to go search for uh, a land and put it into play, not tapped, which is good. Where you pay five and get two lands into play untapped, which is really good too. The fact that you know they put them in untapped is super beneficial, very helpful. Not many cards do that. Uh, jousting Lance. Some more equipment. Uh, Run Amok. Uh, blink of an Eye. Death Bloom Thalid. Uh, Blood Tallow Candle. Uh, pay one, pay six. Uh, it's okay. Ooh, Icy Manipulator! I like this card. I really like Icy Manipulator. I got OG Ice Age Icy Manipulator. And uh, I run it in a, in a couple decks. And now I'm glad that I've got a second one, so I just uh, put it in my other deck and don't have to swap it out. Then we got Weight of Memory 3 and 2 blue. Draw three cards. Target player puts the top three cards of his or her library into their graveyard. Oh yeah, it's their library into their graveyard. It's, it's, it's so many years of having to say, you know, his or her, because that's what the card said. And it's like I I made comments to people. You know, we'd always talked about it. You know, it's like why wouldn't they just switch it to there? And they finally did. And now it's like. Now I can't get used to that. I'm still stuck in the past. Uh, Shalai, the voice of plenty. Uh, three in a white for three four angel flying. You planeswalkers you control and other creatures you control have hexproof. Pay four and two green. Put a one one counter on each creature you control. It's not too bad, at all. Uh, you planeswalkers and your creatures have hexproof. Hexproof is very, very good. My sister might actually be interested in this for her Saskia. Maybe. And then we've got an Arvad the Cursed. Uh, I think I've already gotten two of those. And uh, other, like, pre release pack, and then a planeswalker pack. I was super stoked to find out the Chandra Planeswalker deck comes with a Gilded Lotus. For those of you that are wanting a Gilded Lotus but can't find one in the shop, spend that extra little bit of money on that Chandra deck. Trust me, you're going to want to. Sergeant at Arms. Move these over a little bit more. There we go. Cold Water Snapper, and the name of this is a, uh, it's a shout out to Cold Snap, if uh, you didn't know about that. It's a 4-5 with Hexproof, not the greatest, I mean, probably, probably one of the worst cards in the set, not even really like worse, it's like, it costs high, and it has Hexproof, and that's pretty much it, all it does, but there's things that can be done with it, certainly not the worst card in the set. 
Bloodstone Goblin. Worries about kick spells. Uh, Adventurous Impulse. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may put a real creature or land from among them, put it in your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Fairly strong one drop. Uh, uh, ramp almost? Uh, not really. Not true ramp, like pseudo ramp, I guess. Uh, divest. Even Sentry. Skittering Surveyor. Which is like the baby sad robot. ETBs, you can search for your basic land, put it in your hand. Primordial Worm. Academy Drake. Demonic Vigor. Chainer's Torment. Mmm. Spicy, spicy. A memorial to glory. The Antiquities War. Ooh, spicy. Pay three and a blue. Chapter one and two are look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And then chapter three reads. Artifacts you control become artifact creatures with base power and toughness 5-5 five, five until end of turn. Not too bad, you know. It, people are going to see this coming from a mile away, and they're going to try to stop it. And then we get uh, Urgaros, the Empty One. A legendary specter, 4-3 flying. Uh, when it deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card at random. If the player can't, I draw a card. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I like to draw cards. <clears throat> I like drawing cards more than I want you to discard cards. And then we got Excavation Elephant. We got a Humrid Explorer. I really like this. It's pretty neat. For mill stuff. I mean, it's a 4 drop common, you know, 3-3. Three, three. It's a 3-3, three, three, but it's, it's the, the ETB mill effect, though. That's what I really like about it. It's definitely going to find a place in Brago, because Brago likes ETBs. And, I mean, milling my opponents is definitely... A way to try to win. Could definitely be a win con. Uh, then we got Gitu Lava Runner. Wind Grace Acolyte. Arbor Armament. Voltaic Servant. At the beginning of your instep, untap target artifact. That is nice to have. Brea is definitely getting an upgrade after this. I may even have you know, Brea and Sidri, two different artifact decks now. I got a, I got a bunch of stuff that just works really well, and it's too many cards, not enough spaces. Uh, run a muck. Then we got Gideon's Reproach. Uh, Thalid Omnivore. Jousting, Jousting Lance. Skizik. Hmm. Song of Frailies. I actually pulled one of these in my pre release. It I only get to use it once. Uh it's not that bad of a card. It was pretty it was fair. Uh Warcry Phoenix. Uh 2-2 two, two, flying haste for four. Whenever you attack with three or more creatures, you may pay two in a red. If you do, return Warcry Phoenix from your graveyard to the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Which is Super crazy. It's nutty. But I may just wind up putting this in my uh, Alicia deck that I'm building. Uh, eh, a Marwin the Nurturer. I'd be more excited to get this if I didn't already get one in the Chandra deck. It was just weird the Chandra deck is a red green deck. Uh, but. That's uh it's it's definitely in there. And to the next pack. So 
Uh, talk, let's talk about this uh, road to uh, 200 subscribers. Or how about I talk and you listen. Uh, you guys know. I mean, I, I really, I really do want to do better for you guys. I want to you know, give you better quality uh, product uh, and videos. I want to, I want to give you better quantity too. And that's another thing you know, that was discussed. Uh, should I do quality over quantity? Should I do quantity over quality? And it's like I want to do both. You know. Um, I don't know. Let's 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 like and subscribe and get your friends to subscribe. Let's uh, and, you know we we do that. We have more opportunity to see good stuff being pulled. So we got Bloodstone Goblin. We've got uh, Invoke the Divine. Hmm. Yeah. Zoom in a little bit more, I guess. Um, uh, yeah. And an opt. That's pretty. Yeah, they uh, they've got the foil promos of opt uh, for the F and M. But they, uh, there's also going to be a uh, Shauna Sisay's Legacy. Uh, promo for FNM2. Uh, so I, I'm really hoping that I can get my hands on both. Get to Journey Mage. Caligo Skin Witch. Gaia's, or Gaia's Protector. Rescue. Keldon Raider. Mesa Unicorn Aether Glider Memorial to Unity Thalid Soothsayer Pay 2 sack a creature draw a card Hmm, that's not bad I guess Ooh, Isolated Chapel Black White uh, Land that Check Land I think it's called Because it checks to see if you have a plains or a swamp or maybe it's the buddy land I can't remember you guys you guys tell me in the in the comments uh, it's one of those so we got the isolated chapel and oh look at that we got Agarna the blood flame 3-3 three, three flash when it enters the battlefield return to your hand all creature cards from your graveyard that were put there from anywhere this turn. Other creatures you control have haste. Pretty strong card. I like it. And it's warrior. Really like warrior tribal. <clears throat> I know. Unpopular pen. Sue me. Feel that I might go and rebuild a Saskia deck with Warrior Tribal. Yeah, might might not do too shabby in a in a deck like that, huh? Oh. Uh so we got a Sarah Disciple. A one one flying first strike whenever you cast a historic spell. Uh it gets plus one plus one until in a turn. Get to Lava Runner. Dark Bargain, Crozen Druid, Shivan Fire, mm. Sparring Construct, Gideon's Reproach, Lana War Elf, good old Lana War Elf. Mm -hmm. I got a promo one of those, so the other day for going to. Uh, the open house that you can go to. Uh, we've got a Thalid Omnivore, a uh, Skittering Surveyor, Spore Swarm, 3 in a green, create 3 one, one Sepperlings, Memorial to War. I'm not sure how I feel about these Memorial Lands. The First Eruption! <laughs> 2 in a red. 
The first eruption deals one damage to each creature without flying for the first chapter. Chapter two, add two red to your mana pool. Chapter three, sacrifice a mountain. If you do, the first eruption deals three damage to each creature. Hmm. I can see the possibilities. Yeah. Maybe. Certainly not, you know, certainly not the best one, I don't think. Ah, and then we got Baird, Steward of Argive. Baird. B-A-I-R-D. Baird. Not Bard. Not Beard. Baird. 2-4. Vigilance. For 2 and 2 white. Creatures can't attack you or planeswalker you control unless their controller pays 1 for each of those creatures. So, mini ghostly prison effect on a commander. That's nuts. I can dig it. That's the kind of crazy I can dig. Magic, you have lost your mind. So, I'm really hoping, you know, obviously, I want to pull a Karn out of this box. And I'll be very sad if I don't. Very, very sad. So, we got Frenzy Rage, then Benelish uh, Honor Guard, Arbor Armament, Stronghold Confessor, Hmm. Sapperling Migration. Jousting Lance. Run amuck. Blink of an Eye. Death Bloom Thalid. Blah blah blah. Blood Tallow Candle. Triumph of Gerard. We got a two drop saga. Chapter one and two. Put a one-one counter on target creature you control with the greatest power. Chapter three. Target creature you control with the greatest power gains flying, first strike, and lifelink until end of turn. Yeah, this this saga helped kill me a couple of times last night during the pre-release. Uh, I'm kind of sad. Weight of memory. Tempest Jin. Three drop. Jin zero four flying, and Tempest Jin gets plus one plus zero for each basic island you control. Well. I guess that uh, my uh, Unish slash, uh, oh goodness, I can't even remember his name now. My mono blue dude, that uh, every time you cast an instant or sorcery, you create a drake. For some reason, his name is not in my head. You guys know who I'm talking about, though. Mono blue dude, counter stuff. Might have to just throw it in there just because it's a flying body that's kind of big. That can get big because you're in mono blue. Arbad, the cursed. Wait, another one. Yay! Well, that means that I'll have plenty of these to go around for people and stuff. On to the next cards! Next, next, uh, healing grace. Do 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 do. See now, this is this is one of those cards that you know, fire song might work well with. It likes that stuff. And the thing is, it's like, boom, we're gonna go ahead and prevent that. Now I gain life, and then when I gain life, we're gonna boom, vulture in the face. Uh, so then deep freeze. This was a butthole card to me. I uh, I don't even know who oh I had uh I had my dread shade out my promo dread shade and uh I was definitely beaten face with it. Somebody's like oh, let's deep freeze that guy and I'm like oh boo Fervent Strike uh target creature is one zero first strike in haste or one drop. Sarah Disciple. Lanawar Scout. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. This isn't screaming Omnath. I don't know what is. That's definitely a, a good card. Two drop. A one three. Yeah, dies to bolt. Uh, bleh. Everything dies to something. So, 
Being able to put another land into play. Yeah. It's always a good thing. Cabal Paladin. Three to black. Whenever you cast a historic spell, Cabal Paladin deals two damage to each opponent. It's actually uh, not too bad. I bet you Rakdos, Lord of Rights, would like this card. I bet. Mm hmm. Adventurous Impulse. Soul Savage. Fungal Infection. I know that just, it doesn't sound right at all. Fungal Infection. Uh, but it's, it's, it's a good card. It's, it has saved me a couple times. <clears throat> it was swinging in with a 2-2 two -two flyer. I didn't have jack squat for blockers. So I threw a fungal infection. Made it 1-1. One, one, and made a sapperling. And then I cast one drop green spell. It says uh, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. That creature gains reach until end of turn. Boom! So now mine's a 2-2 two -two with each. Here's the one-one flag. Kill it. Yeah, it was it was very strong. <coughs> Excuse me. A, a fight with fire. A fight with fire deals five damage to target creature. If the spell was kicked, it deals ten damage divided as you choose among any number of targets instead. Uh, I can see how it could be pretty cool. The Flame of Keld. Chapter 1, discard your hand. Chapter 2, discard two cards. Or draw two cards. I'm sorry. Draw two cards. Then... Chapter 3, if a red source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player this turn, it deals that much damage plus 2 to that permanent or player instead. So, uh... It's, it's a one-time... Thing that could be pretty gross, especially if you're running like Perforos, which is nasty in itself. So it's like really, if you're running Perforos, you probably, I mean, there's just better cards than this that does this better. You know, there's like uh, Furnace of Wrath and Dictate of uh, the God, Twin Gods. So you know, it's like if you want to. I don't know. It's, it, it's a good card. It's not a bad card. I just think uh, it, it it's not the greatest. Merfolk Trickster, 2-2 two, two Flash. When it ATBs, tap target creature and opponent controls. It loses all abilities until end of turn. It's really nice. <gasps> a foil Daragaz. What? Foilness? Yeah, foil Daragaz. Uh, I got another Jund thing. Yes. Yeah, I just built a Wasatora just built the deck and it has all kinds of good stuff in it like that's where my Rakdos is honestly uh then I was like okay I went out and bought a Prosh so I can have it as the commander instead of Wasatora although I like flip flop them back and forth because they're both good I think and then I got a third Jun Dragon yay this one actually might uh just make it as the cut for the commander for the deck itself I don't know. Prosh is really good. But see, I'd rather just play Prosh in the 99 because I'm not too worried about, you know, food chaining or anything like that. I don't have a food chain. We all know this. Uh, then we got Zahid Jin of the Lamp. You pay 3 to blue, tap an untapped artifact you control rather than paying this spell's mana cost for a 5 6 flyer. Um. I really like the Derigas reignited foil though. That's great. And on to the next card. The next pack. Uh da, da, da. okay, Kelden Warcaller. Knight. Knight of the New Banalia, <clears throat> Deep Freeze, <clears throat> Divest, Grow from the Ashes, Skittering Surveyor, Primordial Worm, Academy Drake, 
Demonic Vigor. Power Stone Shard. You know, I only pulled one of these last night. All those packs. I was, I was really hoping to pull, like, multiple copies. That's, that's good mana right there. I wish I had... I wish we could have multiple copies in our EDH deck. Uh, this be super helpful in a lot of things. But I guess, I mean, there's things, you know, we can make copies. We, we know how to get around that singleton stuff. Embolus's Clutches, Legendary Enchantment. You can control Enchant Permanent. You control Enchanted Permanent. Enchanted Permanent is Legendary. Oh, that's Enchant Permanent. I not really read, I hadn't read the card properly, apparently, before, because I had, I had just assumed it was an Enchant Creature. No, it's an Enchant Permanent. That's it's better than I thought it would be then at, at first. And we got Elfheim Druid. Tap add green to your pool. Or tap add green to green to your pool. Spend it only to cast kick spells. We got a Sorcerer's Wand. Uh, it's funny because there's another artifact equipment called uh, uh, Wizard's Wand, I think. Wizard something? I don't know. Now it's like, that. now we got a sorcerer one. Uh, equipped creature has tap. This creature deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. If this creature is a wizard, it deals two damage to that player or planeswalker is dead. For equipped thing. Ooh, Demon Lord Bells and Lock! Yeah! Whoop whoop! That's what I'm talking about. 6-6 six, six for 6 with flying and trample. When Demon Lord Basilock enters the battlefield, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non land card. Put that card in your hand. If the card's converted mana cost is four or greater, repeat this process. Not a May effect. If it's four or greater, you have to repeat that process. Then Demon Lord Basilock deals one damage to you for each card put in your hand this way. This is going to be super freaking strong. And it's going into my, uh, it's going into my Razaket deck. I don't know if it's going to be my Belzenlock deck now, though. Because he's, he was kind of like the head honcho elder demon of him. Um, you put that there, guys, up on top. Shiny foil goodness. Mmm-hmm. Spicy. And we'll get on to the next uh, pack in a second. I want to look something up. Just going to look up the gas price. Uh, 15 bucks for a foil gas. Not too shabby. Not too bad. Alright, on to the next pack. Sergeant at Arms, Cold Water Snapper, Bloodstone Goblin, Soul Savage, Mammoth Spider, a 3 5 reach for 4 and a green. It's another spider! I love me some spiders. I used to have this spider deck. It it didn't win a lot. I I can I think that it only really won a few handful of times. About the years, but I had fun playing it because it creeped people out that I would play that many spiders in one deck. A fungal infection again. Yavamaya Sh Saffir. Oh. Uh, two two for three. When it enters the battlefield, create a green one one sapperling. Pardic Wanderer, a six drop five five with triple. Meh. Rampaging Cyclops, three and a red for four four. Uh, yet it gets minus two minus zero as long as there's two or more creatures are blocking it. Hmm, that's weird. Song of Frailies, Warcry Phoenix, another one. Haphazard Embar Bombardment, another one. I'm not too happy about that one. I don't. I'm not. I don't know if I really like this. I think it's one of those cards that is like magic. What? Wizards? What, what were you doing? Thinking about this stuff. Ah, so we got, uh, we got a foil too. Blood, a foil bloodstone goblin. 
I'm put that foil over here. And then Danithe, Capuchin, Paragon, uh, 2 2, First Strike, Vigilance, Lifelink for 3 mana. And or an equipment spells you cast cost one less to cast. Well, it's definitely a new creature going into my uh, Boros Voltron deck for sure. Yeah, buddy. So, and then, oh, why did I put those over there? Okay. Hmm. Pack number 11. So, we got Invoke the Divine. Out. Get to Journey Mage. Excavation Elephant. Gaia's Protector. Dark Bargain. Fungal Infection. Rescue. Yavamaya Safford. Aether Glider. Uh, Dauntless Bodyguard. As it enters the battlefield, choose another creature you control. Sacrifice Dauntless Bodyguard. The chosen creature gains indestructible until end of turn. That's, uh, not, that's not too bad. N not really, I mean, because it's like, with Panharmonicon, you know, you could make trigger, trigger, trigger multiple, you know, choose different, multiple creatures. That's not too bad. I don't think it's too bad. Thorn Elemental. What? I forgot that they reprinted this. Thorn Elemental. This is a, I, I know it's the it's the Timmy player in me, and the fact that you know, this was one of the earlier cars that you know I, I had was given to me like the real card wise, and uh, it was a Judge Promo Thorn Elemental. So I, it's kind of partial to you know I, I like it. And the fact that you may have it assigned its combat damage that it wasn't blocked, it's, it's very strong in certain decks, like a Saskia deck. It definitely does stuff. And a Helm of the Host. I was hoping to pull one of these. I'm super stoked now. There's so many good things you can do with this. Right off the rip, Aurelia the War Leader. You want infinite combat? There you go. Blam. And then we got another Garna, the Blood Flame. Oh yeah. Helm of the Host. Helm of the Host was probably the second main card that I was wanting to pull out of this set. So, I'm stoked. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de do Warlord's Fury. Uh, it's a one-drop sorcery for red. Creatures you control gain first strike until end of turn. Draw a card. It's funny. I saw a guy sit there play. Turn one. Mountain. Warlord's Fury. Didn't have any creatures. He just wanted that draw. I can't blame him. I've done similar things with similar cards. Super silly. Knight of New Benalia, Befuddle, Arbor Armament, Wind Grace Acolyte, Avon Sentry, Cabal Evangel, Primordial Worm, Cloud Reader Sphinx with 3 4 for 5 flying. When it enters the battlefield, scry 2. Hmm. More ETB stuff that Brago might like. That five cost though really hurts it. Navigator's Compass. I really like this card. I've seen it uh, used in uh, in play, and uh, it was I mean it was very helpful because they had just splashed the red in the deck, and so they was able to use this to get that red mana that they needed to generate. <clears throat> Dauntless Bodyguard, again, that's it, and I just have one of those. Uh, settle the score. Exile target creature. Put two loyalty counters on a planeswalker you control for four. What? What? Four drop. I mean, four drop exile a creature. You know, that's, that's, that's fairly normal. You know, we've got, uh, we've got several black spells. The same cost. Uh, 
three and a black instead of two and two black. Exile creature. Create gold token and stuff, you know. The loyalty counters? If you're playing Planeswalkers, definitely an include into your deck. Maldrotha, the Grave Tide. Bug Commander of the Century. During your each of your turns, you may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. Yes. This is going to be super strong. Oh, yeah. And we got another Urgaros, the Empty One. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. I kind of wish that, uh... I'd held off. I, cause I, me being a dummy, I, I didn't pull one of these in pre-release, so I went and traded it for Moldrotha. But I mean, I, I got rid of my Mox Amber for it, so it was like, you know, pretty much, in a way. But it's okay. I got two Moldrothas now, which means that my buddy. Might get a Maldrotha, uh, because he's wanting to build a Mimeoplasm deck, and I'm like, why don't you just go Maldrotha? <laughs> so we got Sarah Disciple, we got Talarian Scholar, what? Talarian Scholar? Professor? Is it? That's not you, is it? Sorry. Not sorry. Radiating Lightning. Yeah, I know. 